Kia ora team, we're back and we're still looking at prefixes and this time we're looking at prefixes relating to colour. Let's get started. First up, every time we see chromo, it means colour. So monochromatic, remember mono is one, just like a mono brow. So monochromatic would be one colour or black and white. Then we've got leuco or alb and that is white. So a leukocyte, site means cell, leukocyte, white blood cell. And then albino is a person who doesn't have pigment in their skin, so their skin is quite white. Then we got urethro. Every time we see urethro at the start of a word, it means red. So a urethrocyte, site means cell, red blood cell. Cyano is blue, and when we see osis, that's an abnormal condition. So cyanosis is when your skin turns blue. Chloro, chloro means green, and if you look at chlorine gas, that's a green gas. And chlorophyll is the green thing inside plants that gives it the greenish tinge of the leaves. Melan is black. So melanin is the pigment in our skin that gives us a tan and darkens our skin. And then melanocyte, so melan's black, site is cell, and then when we join two words together, sometimes we add that joining sound O. So melanocyte is the cell that creates melanin to darken our skin. Next up for yellow, we've got flav or jaund. So flavor virus is also known as yellow fever and jaundice is when we get a yellow tinge to our skin. Almost there. Polio is gray. So with poliomyelitis, polio gray, mile means to do with spinal cord, itis is inflammation. So poliomyelitis is inflammation of the gray matter of our spinal cord. Lucky last, rosio is pink. How lovely. So just like a rose. And rosacea is when we get an abnormal pink tinge to our skin. And that brings us to the end of our prefixes for color. Good work, team.